rest of the monster fish that we did not cover in part three. We did Lone Star, Mudwater, and Rocky Lake before in episode three. So let's continue on to our next lake. Our next lake we will go to, let's pick one of the beginner lakes, will be at Emerald Lake. Now I've completed all the missions on this, so again I'm just going to show you when and where that I've caught in this fish. Now the Pike Slasher will bite on a cloudy day at 9 a.m. That's when I picked mine up at. First thing we're going to do, so let's. Loading time on this game is very slow. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is get all your pike. You need to get the pickerel, the northern pike, the redfin pickerel, and the grass pickerel. Um, all your, and the chain pickerel. All your chain pickerels are going to be out here. Your red fins are going to be in here. Um, you can float fish them. I float fish them with shiners. Um, casting spoons work very well. Also, the grass pickerel you're going to find. I float fished them. I got them right in this area here. There are chain pickerel in this area as well. Um, right around here, your northern pike will be here. This will, may take a, a little bit of a grind for you. I think the redfin pickerel is what most of us had a hard time with. Again, pike will be in this area right here. Um, I use small minnows in a float fish and just was just going for the fish, not trying to catch the biggest fish, just trying to catch the fish. Uh, northern pike will also sit out in this area as well. You want to venture out in your boat and go fish them out there. Once you do that, we're going to go for the pike slasher. Let's get in the boat. You can do this from shore as well. I miss not having my bass boat like in Fishing Planet. Basically, you're going to fish the chain pickerel spot. It's the unique chain pickerel spot. Now, this fish will toy with you. I sat here and this guy just dinged and dinged and dinged and dinged. I had friends, um, we started again at 8 o'clock on a cloudy day. Um, some guys it took until 10.30 to get. Um, it will play with your bait. Let's grab any old float rod real quick. Uh, um, I did use my Phoenix, um, there it is, my Phoenix rod. You can fish anywhere from 10 to about 45 down. And the fish, again, is going to be generally in this area. Um, it took me, I think it was like 9.30 when I got mine. Um, the fish would play with it. You can just, like I said, keep hearing ding, ding, ding. Um, the bobber would float to about here. Once in a blue moon, I would just recast and just restart it. Again, this is where you're going to get the pike slasher. Okay, let's venture on to the next lake. Uh, I want to put a thanks out to all my friends that I fish with. This has uh, been kind of a group effort, effort for all of us. Um, I'll kind of put our heads together. Some people found some fish that others couldn't. Um, so my kudos goes out to all of them. Next lake, we'll go to Naren. This is the Edgar Gar, I believe it's called. Again, I'm going to try to make this video as brief as possible, but this will be the rest of the monster fish that were not covered in the Halloween event part 3 episode.
First thing you're going to want to do is cut your shad. Um, I fish this the way I fished a breaking shad competition. There are multiple different areas to get shad. Um, there is an area right out here. Once we get a rod equipped. Right in here where you can float it. Um, I fished it at 32 deep. Um, number 6, number 8 odd hook. Pretty much your preference. Again, you're not looking for the biggest fish. You're not looking for an exact fish like the breaking shad comp. You just want to catch your shad. Um, I went to any peaks. Um, shouldn't have a problem with it just fishing any peaks. My favorite spot to fish them will be right over here, right by the log bridge, across from the red ear. I'll stand here, throw out roughly at about 65 feet. Um, 55 to 65 is my favorite. Um, this fish can take a little bit to bite. There are times your bobber will slowly drift around here um, once you get to this line you get to about this point I would basically just recast and try again I do have friends that do fish it shorter um, about 35 feet find out what works for you now I was also told that this is an excellent place to go for the monster fish at this lake um, this is not where I fished it personally um, but this I was told that um, by good sources this is another good spot Another spot for the Edgar Gar is going to be your long nose goat gar spot. If you're fishing the tournament tomorrow, this is a good spot to fish for the tournament. Basically sneak around the rock. I'll cast right around here. Right when you get to this weed line, you want to be at 90 feet. If you're any further than 90 feet, you will get held up into these weeds. And you can literally let this drift all the way down to about here, to the next beach. Um, again, the Florida Gar, this is an excellent spot. The monster fish will be right around in the middle. Now, you can fish this from the other side and also go this way, you know, casting towards where we're at. I prefer this side as well. The place that I eventually caught the fish... I got him on my first cast was a great parking job. This didn't take me long at all. Um, it's the same place that the redfin pickerel is for your mission. On your regular missions. Let me fast forward a little better time so you can see. It's going to be right out here. Um, I fished it at 32 deep. Um, all your gar, you're going to want to fish from about 10 to about 40 inches deep, um, depending on your preference and how the fish are acting, uh, depending on your barometer, etc. On to the next fish. Let's head to Florida next. Now, when you go to Florida, make sure you buy yourself a mini bass jig. Not a bass jig, a mini bass jig. Heading towards the shop. Go to Lures. Um, this one will cost you coins. I believe they're on the last page. Where the heck are they? There they are. Actually, right up on top. Your mini bass jigs. Um, I chose the number two at or the number two hook because um, it's smaller than the number one. Because basically, we're looking for a bass that is going to be under 1.1 pounds, I believe it was. It's going to be a very small fish. I didn't know the Everglades had a fish this small. You don't have to worry about having a heavy setup for this in particular fish because, again, it's only a one pound fish. Um, do bring a heavy setup with you for the Terra Tarpon because that is a very big fish. Um, I went to Infinite Tunnels.
few spots here. Um, I've had some friends that have fished them right here for the mini bass. This one only took me about five minutes to do. I basically took my mini bass jig, cast it right out here on a number one speed stop and go. Um, I did use my jig winner. Let's see if I have it with me. May have taken it out for some of the other missions. Uh, let's go with the bass caster. See if we can catch one real quick. It's going to say light. Uh, cast will be short, but we should be fine. Now, it may not give you this because I already did this event. Um, let's see. I had that problem with shells at Moose Lake. I went to go collect some more shells. And it was very hard to get shells because I finished that mission. But basically just a little one stop and go retrieve. If you hold your L2 button, as you see, you can do a little twitching mo motion. I was told these little bass are only in for the event, for the Halloween event. So like I said, I finished off the event. They may or may not be there. But basically just... Keep that little fishy in the right hand corner in the middle of the water tablet. When you're ready to go for your Terra Tarpon, you do need a rod that will cast out at least 150 feet. Um, anything shorter, you're going to have a lot of schnook. I used my Brutus 1010. Um, I equipped it with the green. Um, where is it? With the green trophy bobber, this bobber casts the farthest. Um, it casts it further than any other pair bobber, other than the X series pair pair bobber. Um, I believe this one casts a little further than the X series pair bobber. Um, I don't like that gold one; it's very very hard to see in the water. And I also did use the spider silk line because it's a braided line, and it gave me an extra couple feet to cast out. I fish this at 45, fish it the same as any tarpon spots. You can see all the fish jumping out there in the back of the screen. Um, buoys right out there. Like I said, you want to be a minimum 150 feet. I had some friends when I had them on the mic, they kept being like 130, 130. I'm like, go get yourself a bigger bobber. Go get yourself the right setup. So it's going to be in that area. Um, what day was this? Tarpon was 7 p.m. on a partly cloudy day. It was the best time for it. Again, I went 45 inches down. The buoy marker, if you want for your GPS. Is going to be right there. Negative 118.43. You don't have to be exact on the numbers. You know, if you're 118, 117.42, you'll be fine. Again, that was the Terra Tarpon. On to the next lake. Thank God I have a little bit of money saved up. Whenever I'm in a money crisis, I always go farm sturgeon and cali. Um, for me, it's the best way to get XP and to get money. So if you're looking to level up fast, that's the place to do that. Um... I believe it was my first video that I showed my sturgeon run. Well, while we're here, let's go to Quenchkin. Since we haven't covered that yet. All these lakes do have a 30-day challenge. Um, the 30-day challenge, you get different X-Series gear, Lone Star... For example, is an X-Series Bobber. Uh, Moose Lake is a 16-foot crankbait, 6 out, I believe. Um, Louisiana here does have the Frog Popper for the 30-Day Challenge. The easiest way to do it is just keep skipping, skipping, skipping your 30 days. Uh, on Fishing Planet, you have to do a night skip um, because it will cost you a coin to skip every day. So be careful if you're on Fishing Planet, not the fisherman. Fisherman, which is nice. One of my favorite features is there is no cool down period. If you're on Fishing Planet, it will cost you one coin. Skip to 9 o'clock at night. 
spend the one coin and then always get one day plus one day plus one day plus uh, example one day plus if I'm at 9 o'clock p.m. Uh, let's say 10 p.m. here just for a quick example make sure you take all your gear off you especially your net any of your gear in the fisherman um, your net your jackets your hats you will have a tremendous repair bill and it will cost you a lot of coins in order to do so so a one day plus will literally take me to day two and again you just continue the cycle for 30 days until you eventually get the lure I haven't done Louisiana yet um, I'm not going to do it right now because uh, whoop I think I accidentally left the lake because I have all my gear on me yes I did leave the lake Boy, that was a fun travel. Probably should have just stripped all my gear and ran to these lakes and did the 30 day challenge while I have you guys. Sorry, I'll do that in the future. I do all my videos live, I don't edit them. I don't know how to add them, to be honest. Like I said, I'm new to this YouTubing. I hope these videos have been very helpful for you. First thing you're going to want to do when you're going for the monster catfish, it's the monster cat it's called here in Louisiana, is get your five gar. Depending on your setup, you can get a Brutus rod. Um, we did get a Halloween pack, DLC pack for free. Let's get out of this rain. Uh, your best luck for gar is going to be your night, your all your night peaks. I fish my gar right out here. It's about anywhere from 90 to 70 feet out. It's a very good spot for them. 10 inches down, you can fish them 10 to 20. Um, you can use your Brutus rods, you can use bottom rods, whatever you have on you. Um, this is also a good spot that you can fish for the uh, vampire gar as well. Um, I did find a spot, but you're going to need this setup. It's about 160 something out. This spot is going to be the Vampire Gar only. Um, it is a night spot. It's about 160 out. You will not run into any normal Gar. It will be nothing but Vampire Gar. Another spot to catch your Gar is going to be at down south. Oh, wrong peg. two spots out here as you can see I have no buoys because I usually fish my gar on the other side look for the cypress tree you see all that stuff hanging down there all that moss just aim right in the middle and it's going to be anywhere from 70 to about 80 feet out 10 inches down um, I prefer large cut bait you can use shiners shiners you will get bass and as well um, large minnows is another one that I like to use um, in general I do like a bait that swims around so I do use large minnows a lot but for this in particular event I've been using cut bait another spot to get your gar is going to be right around here at, at about 90 feet out you will get vampire gar at all these spots as well um, last year on fishing planet it was right around here there was another spot that was uh, vampire gar only but it was a very very slow spot again fish these gar at night once you've um, received your five gar, you're going to be ready for the catfish. That one you want to travel with the pelican hut. I hunted around forever for this fish. I tried everywhere. It said by the hut. I'm thinking all these little open spots. I tried back over here. You can see I have a buoy over here. It said huts, not hut. So I went over to the tobacco huts. Um, long story short, it's going to be right here in front of you. Um, a few friends have fished it at 99 down. It is very shallow here. I fished mine, I believe it was at 29 inches down. Um, as soon as you throw it in, you're going to see a big tail pop up. This is a very easy fish to, um, one of the easiest fish, monster fish to get once you know where it is. I honestly didn't think he was going to be in this small spot. Um, it was the only spot out of all these spots that I didn't try, and it was uh, my very last shot. Um, it's a neat looking fish. Easiest way to remember where it is, turn around, 
look at the pumpkin. He's going to be right here on your right. Mm -hmm. We did all of these lakes. Let's head to St. Croix. St. Croix, you have to get backlash. When I read it, it said Rusty Spoon getting backlash. I'm like, I don't own a Rusty Spoon. Where the heck do I get a Rusty Spoon? Um, the Rusty Spoon is actually in the backlash. So you just basically need to catch a backlash. Um, I haven't tried, but a good thing is you might want to try is uh, if you did the mission at Lone Star, bring a couple backlash with you. Uh, you may not have to get them here, or you may only have to get one. Um, it's a good thing to do with the shells when you're at Moose Lake. Get all your shells uh, for when you go to California, because California is a little hard to get shells. I was fortunate I had three of them on me, I believe, when I went to Cali. So I only needed to get two. A lot of people were dumbfounded on where to get shells in California. A uh, spot I heard of, haven't tried. Come here, turn into these weeds. Just cast right in here, snag yourself. You should get bass backlash. Um, this buoy I have here is a clear musky spot. This is where you can get a unique clear musky on a partly cloudy day, which happens to be the day that we are on um, at 1 p.m. Let's see what hook that we got on. I just finished the actual Gars and Glories tournament. I was 19th when I left. I think I bumped down to 20th. I did bad in it. I did better on it in a fishing planet than I did on here. I should have done fishing planet first. Oh, I actually do have an 8 hole hook. Um, this is going to be an 8 hole hook, 13 down. We'll just give it a quick shot, see if something pops up. No, we don't want, yes, we do want to fast forward. One o'clock. These fish do put up a fight. If I do end up hooking into this, we might be here a couple extra minutes in the video. You can use your bottom rods as well. You can use multi rods if you have a rod stand. Well, basically, he's going to be right in here. This is again for your clear musky. Partly cloudy day, 1 o'clock. I would consider him a monster fish, I guess. He is here. Trust me. I'm not going to waste too much time on this guy. Because, again, I don't want to make too long of a video for you folks. Nothing worse than watching a video with a bobber just bouncing around for 20 minutes. Come on, buddy. Fishing planet, not catching planet, is a game of patience. Some fish you will go to, you will get ASAP. Some it will take you a little bit of time. Whether it's the monster fish at the spots I've showed you or just any other fish in the game. Uh, just to try to reset him real quick. We'll give him another 10 seconds or so. Not on that cast, we won't. There he is. As you can see, they will pop up. This one looks like a small one, though. The uni is here. You will get that uni between 1 and 2 p.m. Come on, buddy. 
Okay, good. I like that it's so clear. You can see the fish in the water. And fish on. As you can see, my rod is a little bit in the red. It is the weakest point in my arsenal. You can let your stuff go a little bit into the red. I'm pushing this one. Thank God I do have one bar to spare. Normally you want your line in the red and your rod in the real in the green. Uh, this in particular setup just happens to be this way. These fish do pay well. I come here for comps or just come here to goof around. Um, depending on the days, I always come here and try to get a freaking few musky. If you hold your L2 button, wait till the green goes down and then reel in, you can bring some of these fish in easier sometimes. I am not touching my R2 buddy because if you do that, the fish will run. He can run out to 100 feet or so, if not more. Let go of the R2, wait for it to bounce down. I said, these fish they put on steroids recently, and we got them. Mm, trophy, 3,000 bucks though. Paid for the trip here. Um, actually, let's go get the boat, because I did it off the boat. Can't wait till I get to level 50, get my bass boat back. While we're here, I'll run through a spot or two as we're going... If you spawn at Sandy Cape and you turn right, you're going to see that big boat out there. You can cast medium spoons, single spoons. I use spawn sack in the bottom. It's about 160 something out. These are going to be your brown trout. Sunny morning is your unique brown trout out here. Sunny morning at 5 a.m. is clear musky. From 5 to 6. 6 to 7.30 is going to be your normal musky, which is where we are going, headed to. And then from 8 to 9 is tiger musky. Um, I haven't fished them here yet. When you spawn at Sandy Cape for the tiger muskie, you're going to stand at this rock. You're going to aim right out here. Uh, about 110, 130. Uh, it's 45 inches down here. And that is your tiger muskie hole. And that is from 8 to 10. Or 8 to 9, excuse me, if you're taking notes. Again, I highly recommend to get a notebook in this game. It helps so much. Buoy markers, you can put them on your buoys when you catch them. This is your clear musky spot on a sunny morning. You're going to basically aim right out here at about 105 to about 120 again, 45 inches down. Um, all your muskies are 8-out hooks, but the tiger musky, tiger musky is going to be a 6-out hook. This what we call on a sunny day is a musky run. Um, I fished off a shore from Sandy Cape. Basically fished right in these lily pads to get my crankbait. Or to get my backlash. For the normal muskies, it's going to be right over here is where I fish them. I 
I like to fish right out in here. Where these guys are fishing is the, called the pike hole. This is where you're going to get northern pike all day long. And that's what these gentlemen are doing. If you look straight across here, see that different discoloration tree? You can only see it when you're here on this side of the lake. Um, right there, right in front of there is my marker buoy for the normal muskie. Again, it is from 6 to 7.30, 45 inches down and an 8-dot hook. Um, I whoa, don't want to cast. I'm gonna end up running into shore. Goofy driver. I used my boat for this monster muskie. I sat right here. I don't want to anchor my boat because I have to start it over again. Um, I caught him on a rainy morning, uh, the day that we were on, right first thing in the morning. I just cast out there with that crankbait that you make, and I got them on my first cast. Looks like one of these guys might have one on. Let's wait and see. Um, I've had friends that caught them on a partly cloudy day right at noon. They went right to the peak. I'm assuming just about any time will work. It's a peak time or a musky time, um, but that is the day that I got it. I wonder if this guy's got him. Oh, let's anchor for a second, see. I bet you he does. Unless that was his bobber and a pike hole. Nope, that was a pike. I unanchored my boat when I did it, let him tow me around. It was a lot easier. Um, but he, that's St. Croix. Uh, So we got Moose, Alaska, and Kelly left. I made three thousand bucks. Cost me five to get there. Ooh, we got Falcon too. When you go to Fa um, Moose Lake, bring yourself a heavy bottom rod or carp rod. Um, I don't have any carp rods open at the time I did it. I'd recommend a carp rod with boilies. I used my bottom rod. I was throwing pet food out there um, thinking nothing was going to bite it. I was throwing freaking little red worms out there thinking nothing was going to bite it. And I believe it or not caught burbots on pet food as I was dragging across the bottom. I caught um, Bots on freaking red worms dragging it off the bottom. Uh, two spots I know for the shells here. Um, I've had some buddies that did go across the other way to the bonfires. They turned to the ice, casted just over the ice, and snagged theirs right on the ice. I sat over here. Um, they were easy to get, the shells very easy. Let's see, we got a bottom red with spawn sack. I don't want to, you know, let's throw it out there. Maybe we'll catch a laker on the way. Put a heavy weight on, cast out here. Like I said, these were easy. I caught the burbot. I went to Cali. I needed shells. I came back here to get shells. The shells were very hard to get because I already caught the monster fish, I believe. Um, the reason I went here, there are two snag spots here if you've ever fished triple trout. You know exactly what I'm talking about. There's usually one at about 130 feet, and there's usually a snag spot at about 80 feet. Um, but collect your shells here. Once you collect your shells, you're going to fish the burbot spot. Because this fish is basically a burbot. You're going to want to fish at 99 down, and it's going to be right in here. There's a ledge here. I was right about here. I was just on the ledge. I caught him right away on my first quick cast. Um, but if you're in that ledge where you're 99 down, that's probably a little bit better. Um, what did I use here? I used a 2 out hook. Um, and I believe it was Night Peaks is when I caught him. Um, Fisher Peaks, try this guy at night. But again, that's where your monster fish is going to be right in here. This is an easy guy to get. Let's 
pick a lake. You know what? We'll do Canic Creek. That was the last lake that I did. Here you're going to go for the albino blackfish. One of the very hardest fish in this game to catch is a trophy blackfish, the normal one. I only know a few people who have caught it in the years of fishing this game. Um, has it been by accident? They've caught it on a popper or a walker. Um, I've had friends and buddies we've tried for weeks upon weeks trying to get a trophy blackfish. Um, it is very, it's one of the hardest fish to get in the game. Um, it does exist. I've seen pictures of it. I've seen it on the leaderboard. But thank God we're going for just the albino blackfish. In order to do that, you're going to have to catch one of each species. Um, if you're familiar with the lakes, uh, you're going to need your cohos, your chinooks, um, your sockeyes, your chum salmon, uh, your pink salmon, your dollies, and your bull trouts. Um, usually most pit people are going to fish their chinooks over here. Um, there's a few spots depending on the day. Um, actually, I'll head here real quick. I did mine at nighttime, the way I fish midnight salmon galore. Um, because I ran and got all the other fish first. As you can see, I got the ghost pike thing freaking tagged. It was like one of my last missions for that. I think I even probably have a rod set up for it. Actually, no I don't. I came here at night. I throw on a three foot. Why is my PlayStation doing it? Three foot crankbait at nighttime, cast to this rock. This is how I fish midnight salmon galore. It's usually a 17 pound fish. Just throw it out, reel it in, three speed, two speed. This will be a Chinook salmon. Um, I just went to this fish because it was the easiest way to get a Chinook. I do know from Fishing Planet a few other things um, for the pinks. You know, I did not put a buoy spawning up at the top peg. Literally do a 180. You're going to see this island here. Um, you can use a popper, walker. Um, I float fished this one. Let's see if it's still set up. Um, I use a small hook, number six hook. I use shiners. Um, you can use shiners, spawn sack, um, shrimp. Uh, uh, small minnows. It's 10 inches down. It's very shallow. I should have put a buoy when I was here. Let's see what's our weather. We're on a good peak. Believe it or not, that's your cast. As you can see, there's one that popped up. They do like to pop up and run, pop up and run, especially during midnight salmon galore. But he's going to be right in here. It's kind of funny, you know, walking here. This is also where your unique pink salmon will be as well. No one's screwing with it. Again, make the video short. That's the pink salmon. Sockeye, there are a few spots for sockeye. Um, I just came here with the float with the shiner. I think I used a 4 out hook. The ones I floated other than the pink was a 4 out hook. There's going to be a big tree out here. I don't want this rod in case I accidentally hook into something. There's my boot rod. This is not a bad spot, too, if you've ever done Salmon Clash to get stock eyes. I think I came over here because I was floating. Basically, just throw up against this tree. This 
exactly where I got my sake. Uh, closer it's fishing trial and error mistakes will be made that looks a much better We're at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. or just before the peak. Six o'clock would probably have been a little better. Shouldn't take you long to get this guy. You can't throw lures as well. There was a ding. I was just about ready to reel it in. I went in and spook him. Let's try one more quick cast. Just so we can make some money. I am going to go to six. So you can see the peak. Boy, we were right on that tree. quicker. Yep. There's one playing with it. Come on, fishy. Unless it ran off. Oh, another one playing with it. little buddy whoa why was my drag turned up so high oh kind of mistakes will be made why the hell did that happen that was an X series hook too Was my drag at full max drag? Next spot, I actually got the chum and the coho. I actually did it on this weather pattern. I actually did all the fish on these weather this weather pattern except the night one. And the bull trout I did on a sunny day. Coho are in the very, very bottom. Um this peg if you run all the way down to the very bottom. And you cast straight across with a crankbait coho. We're going to be down there as well. It's a long run. I don't want to waste time for you guys. I'm just looking at these buoys. Again, I was just looking for the fish. 
Um, boom, boom. That was my chum. That was my coho. Last two fish that we need are going to be the dollies and the bull trout. Rainy mornings are unique dollies. I actually caught a unique um, when I was here. You're going to take your float. Throw it right here. Basically you drift right through these rocks. At 10 inches down. You will get hung up right where the bobber's at at the moment every once in a while. Just give it a little wiggle. You can't let this drift all the way to the shore on the right. Majority of the time your bite's going to be in between the rocks. This is the same method you can use for the bull trout. Bull trout are going to be on a sunny morning. It's the easiest time to get your unique bull trout and to get bull trout in general. You got one screwing with it. Come on, little buddy. Like I said, you can drift all the way to the shore. This guy's playing with it to the shore. You can see the tail come up. That shit looks like a bull trout. You can't get bull trout in other days. It's a good way to farm some money, too. Thank God the drag's not all the way up. That's a dolly. What? Unique dolly. Again, I put my buoy marker right there just so I have a something to throw at. Sockeyes, if you don't get at the other spot, um, where are we at? You can throw a um, X-Series Nymph when you get it. Single spoon, uh, medium spoons. They are very short. They're going to be right in here. Um, this is also where you can do Salmon Clash. And you'll get them right in here. Chums are way out here. You can't get chums out here. Um, if you're doing salmon clash, if you throw out too far, you will get chum salmon. I believe they do count, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but again, chums can be out here with lures. Um, you can find chums here as well. Again, there's other locations. You can also get dollies and bull trouts. Throwing a popper right around in here. As you're popping, you're either going to kind of come in at this angle. I kind of prefer to step back a little bit and I like to come in at about this angle if I can play around with it find out what works for you after that you go for the blackfish after you catch all your fish that guy's the easiest thing to catch there are a few spots and a few ways you can do it you know that's why I had my phoenix with this small hook oh, I wonder if they're gonna let me catch another one Put on your caviar bait. This is where you're one of the spots for your regular blackfish. Again, I caught my 10, so I don't know if we're going to get another one or not. But just drift right in here. You'll see them come up. For the regular blackfish, mayflies, spawn sack, um, mayflies is usually what I use. I have a feeling we're not going to get another albino to pop up because we already caught them. Once you catch a monster fish, you cannot re-catch it. I do know a few people have caught multiple mo a monster fish, but they were using three and four rod stands at a time. They'd hook one, get it set, hook another one, get it set. And there were a few guys that did catch two of them at a time. Uh, let's see if I get mayflies real fast. Yep, we do. Got 
great little blackfish coming up. Um, the suckers are here as well. Every once in a while you catch a sucker. Um, if you're using something other than mayflies, if you read the description. These are basically going to look like this, but white. Mm. Again, the trophy of this fish is the hardest fish in the game to catch. Two more lakes and we are done. I can't believe this is 50 minutes already. So much for making a short video. Falcon, let's do this fast. Falcon's where I farmed. Farmed is a low level. Um, I stayed here for a long time to level up. Um, I fished nothing but unique rainbows and rainbows. I was co coin hunting at the time. Uh, I will show you that spot. Um, that spot is going to be on a cloudy and partly cloudy day from noon to 7 p.m. Um, at night time it does fish to switch to brown trouts. The brown trouts and the rainbow trouts, they seem to switch spots. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. Mm. Spawn over here at Nature's Charming. There's one spot I've helped a lot of new people catch fish. You can use mayflies here too. Um, you can use small minnows. I prefer shiners. Um, okay, we're shiners. Uh, what day? We're partly cloudy day. Just for the heck of it. I'm going to go, say, 1 p.m. Again, it's 12 to 2. Um, you can catch brown trout at this time right in here. And the rainbows are always in here. At nighttime, when you switch and go to a night peak, this will be brown trout. While we're here, let's take a quick gander. It's a very short cast. Um, buddy of mine's got a record. He's caught in 12 uniques. Rotomisha shots. If you guys know him, Timmy. Um, Island boy. I've caught an 11 during this 12 to 7 time. because I'm making a video the fish take a little longer looks like one screwing with it yep um, use a smaller hook you're gonna want a one aught two aught when you fish this fish I think that was my problem Why not? Barbless hooks will give you more XP. So if you're looking to level up faster, use barbless hooks. But again, this is an excellent place to farm and level up fast. If that's what you're looking to do. I stayed here. Um, after the fact, I went to Florida. When I went to Florida, I went there more for coins. I went there to catch a unique largemouth and the um, unique Florida gar. I would just night skip in largemouth and just switch and catch a unique largemouth, catch a unique Florida gar, and just rotate back and forth. And these are the rainbows. Again, you're going to get a lot of trophies here, a lot of um, uniques. Um, at nighttime, this is going to be the brown trout spot. Daytime, this is going to be the brown trout spot. Once you catch your trout, get your eggs, I believe it is. Spawn over at the kayaks. 
Um, you can get your boat right where that guy is fishing. He's probably fishing for it. Let's see who's there. Hey, it's snake bite. as far as you can this way I believe you can reach it from shore I did it in my boat it's gonna be right there the buoy behind it um, that's a unique or red uh, red band spot um, you can fish it at night 32 deep oh, and you can see that's what he just caught was a red band um, so it's a good place to farm the unique red bands as well when you're looking for coins and that's gonna be at nighttime peaks this is the actual buoy for that fish uh, this guy played with it a lot. He played with it just like the um, Pike Slasher did. Oh, that's a rainbow buoy. You know what? We're on the wrong side of the lake. I saw him under my boat just playing with it, playing with it, playing with it for about a good 20 minutes. But he's right there. Those are the coordinates if we want him. Just... When you type in your coordinates, you don't have to be exact. Like I said, you can be in the general area. You, know, you can be 83, whatever that is, 2.3. It could be 1.9, as long as you're in that area. Last but not least, this was, for me, the hardest fish to catch. A lot of buddies got it on in their first cast. You didn't get anything spectacular. You didn't get anything, Ashley, for catching all the monster fish, which I was very surprised. Uh, there are other challenges. You have to look at your challenges under your profiles for catching different fish. Um, the ghost pike, I know. Uh, ghost busters, when we get it to open up. Tier, tier 3 is 150, and if you catch 150 of them, you get a fire phoenix rod. Um, it's a Halloween rod of the phoenix rod, the rod that I was using. Um, Sweet Tooth catching 100 fish on candy. Um, bait you get 13 coins I believe it's 150 if there is a third stage uh, it was like a Hell Troy Halloween fishing rod you got um, Yeti Gar one's a tackle box one's going to be on the Gar one's going to be a tackle box I believe that's a Yeti Gar the Ogre Gar is going to be a vest um, it's a neat looking little Halloween jacket because a big pumpkin on the back and the um, Vampire Gar are going to be um, it's like a cowboy hat. They don't call it a cowboy hat, but it's like a cowboy hat. Mm -hmm. It's got a pumpkin on it. I did them all last year on Fishing Planet. They're kind of neat. Mm -hmm. Neat to run around with for Halloween. Mm -hmm. Again, it's not under any of your missions. It'll be under your challenges. What's up, Wesley? Um, I'm actually just made a making a video. It'll be on YouTube as soon as I'm done. Um, it's going to be running through all the monster fish except the ones that I covered in my part 3 edition um, so it's gonna have all the monster fish from other than three fish so once I'm done um, if you want to just relook it up uh, this will show you every monster fish location where to catch them how to catch them um, I'm ran through it as fast as I could I wasn't hoping it wasn't gonna take an hour but I'm at 59 minutes at the moment Can bring backlash with you when you come to this lake. It's a lot easier than trying to catch it here. Um, I've known some friends that struggled, spent two, three hours just trying to catch backlash alone. Um, I had a hard time with it as well. I actually had a buddy of mine who did catch backlash. Kind of give me a little bit of tips on where to catch them. Basically, it was off of Beaver Island. If you know the gar spots. Or not the guard, the sturgeon, excuse me. Sturgeon are these poles. The very last pole you start with, and then you can go to the next one to the 
left. That's uh, two spots for sturgeon. Sturgeon in nighttime only. Large cut bait spawn sack. Works very, very well. In order to get my last two shells, or if you need shells and you didn't come here, let's just stop the boat. Uh, you're going to want to snag right in here. Put on that spoon. What have you. And this is where we got our shells. Stay in the blue or be in the weeds. You'll get snagged up. You will get the rest of your shells that you need over here. Um, to show you the last monster fish spot, uh, um, there's a few different ways you can do it. I did mine off the boat. Um, most all of us did it at nighttime. Let's fast forward to midnight just for the heck of it. If you guys have gotten them off of Beaver, Beaver Island, if you guys got them from the dam, if you look out in the water, you can see all those big splashes. That's usually that monster fish just screwing around. I'll show you where I parked and cast. Uh, I basically anchored right here and casted back this way. I do have a mooker marker buoy um this buoy is from sabby if you guys have watched sabby's videos before this was off the dock this is the coordinates for it um i fished it i could not catch the fish off the dock here uh, sabby is a very reliable person that is buoy i know will work um i do have people that fished it off the dam they were at the dam here at the end of the dam casting out this way aiming towards that green house uh, uh, you'll see the greenhouse here in the background. The greenhouse is right out here. So they sat at the dam, fished it that way. So since I had friends that fished it from the dam, caught it fishing this way, Sabby's buoys over this way, I came, parked right in here, and I caught the fish right in here. So that's where that fish was. Um, I believe that's all the monster fish that we ran through. I will make future videos. Um, on some of the other fish if you need help with the ghost pike. Um, I did a lot of my ghost pike not on this in particular account. I did them last year on Fishing Planet at uh, Emerald, or not Emerald Lake, at Lone Star. Because Lone Star is a free lake. Um, those fish are at nighttime, the ghost pike. You have to fish them at nighttime only. Um, on Fishing Planet, uh, Lone Star, you don't have any cool down periods. So you can just night skip, night skip, night skip. You don't have to worry about spending coins. Again, excellent feature on this game is the free to skip where you can skip anytime so it doesn't matter what lake you're at you can just skip anytime you want in order to get your ghost pike um, I will run through all the other challenges for you as well I'll make another video on that at a later date as you can see I got all of my monster fish done now I can just work on getting my boat I wasn't in a rush for it because I got it already in my other account. Um, I will get it before the event's over to get to Frankenfish. Frankenfish will give you a kayak. Uh, it's a really neat little kayak that you can get uh, catching the fish. When you catch the Frankenfish, it's a 72-pound fish. It looks like it should be a 372-pound fish. But I will run through uh, how to catch all these different gar. Um, they're very easy. Um, if you're high enough level, bring a rod stand. It's the easiest way to do it. You just need 13 of each on the gar. Once you're done with your 13 of each, um, you can use any bait, any hook to get the rest of them to get your 100 uh, under your challenges. Again, uh, those are all going to be under challenges. Like I only got one Yeti gar. I was fishing a tournament today, so I wasn't concentrating on gar. Um, go to my fish records. No way, that's my biggest fish. What, they do this backwards? They must have. There's a 
musky, terra tarpon, bass, flathead, bino yeti, Edgar Gar. No, they're not in any order. Usually, they had the biggest fish on top. Well, Wesley, if you're looking to, oh, he's not on anymore. Well, this concludes my video. Um, fish on all. I said I will make uh, future videos for you all. Hopefully, that's helped a lot for you. Um, enjoy. Thanks for watching. Hmm.